My name is Susan Heckley. I'm the Wildlife Rehabilitation Director at Lindsay Wildlife Museum. We received a great gray owl baby from some researchers who found it at the base of its nest tree in the Sierra. We received that in mid-May of 2012. And we it was brought to us at Lindsay Wildlife Museum because we have a non-releasable great gray owl on display as part of our educational program. And we were able to put the great gray owl baby with the adult so that the baby would have a visual surrogate or somebody to look at, another owl to look at while it was in captivity. And it would be able to know what it was instead of having to look at people the whole time. Our concern was that this owl would need to make sure it knew it was an owl and uh, when, for when it was released back into the wild. Um, during the time, it was housed in a small enclosure with visual contact with the adult for the whole time, and it remained a wild owlet. What we do in the pre-return exam is we look at um, its body condition, we look at all of its feathers, we listen to its breathing and its heart rate, and we take blood um, to make sure that everything is okay and for the researchers. A lot of what we do here at Lindsay Wildlife Museum is working with agencies such as U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the California Department of Fish and Game. In this case, um, we were working with researchers who were working under their auspices and um, we were able to help these researchers who are monitoring this endangered species population in California. Great gray owls are an endangered species in California and it was really important to us to be able to help in maintaining this species to be able to return one of the babies back into its home range. This was a baby that was not able to be returned back into the nest. The nest tree was not climbable up to the nest, but because the baby is able to perch on branches now, uh, we are able to return it to its nest tree and uh, the parents can take over the raising of this baby great gray owl. It is a real privilege to be able to work with an animal such as this. Endangered species, by their very nature, are extraordinarily rare, and it is not common to get one in our hospital. And it was just a great privilege to be able to help with this project and make sure this baby has a chance for survival.